guys, how are you? Hope you're well. Sorry this video is a little bit late. Um, just had a really hectic week last week. Um, my car's been broken for a little while, um, but I've been driving the man friend so I've been fine. But then my mum's car broke too, so I've been playing the dutiful daughter taxi. So I've just been getting home from work really late and just, yeah, just, just been a bit busy. So I'm a bit late this week, sorry. Um, but anyway, let's get on with the video. Um, a couple of people mentioned in the comments um, about the fact I hadn't put the line art in for some of the cardigan patterns which just completely slipped my mind, sorry. Um, what do you mean you're not as obsessed with the Blackwood cardigan as me and know exactly what it looks like? Um, yes, so I thought it might be nice to do a little video of my um, cardigan collection, my handmade cardigan collection, not all of my cardigans. So I've already gone ahead and filmed some little clips of all of my handmade cardigans and I've got some, some details that I've looked up here um, about the various different patterns and I thought I would give you a bit of a rundown and do sort of mini reviews of all four of the cardigan patterns I've sewn. Let's start with the Helen's Closet Blackwood cardigan, shall we? As I bang on about it all the time. Um, so here is the line art. Um, and I've got some vital statistics for each of the patterns and I'm gonna try and put that on the screen here as well. Um, so it is a PDF only pattern um, and the print at, print at home version has 33 pages or there is an AO version as well, which is two pages long. Um, it will set you back $14. Um, and the size range um, goes from a 31 to 34 inch bust, a 24 to 40 inch waist, sorry, I couldn't read my writing then, um, and a 33 to 50 inch hip. Um, and you get two different variations, the um, hip length version and the long length version. I've sewn both variations and a cropped waist length um, hack and I'm going to insert the clips of them now. So this is the first blackwood I made with the longer length which as you can see is super long on me. Uh, it's nearly at my knees because I'm 5'2 and the pattern's drafted for a woman of 5'6. Um, but it's still still going to be long on somebody even taller than 5'6", I think. Um, I did shorten the sleeves by 3 inches and they still have that nice sort of bunched up look that you're supposed to get with this pattern. And I like the um, I like a cardigan to be able to cover my hands like this. So yep, yeah, I'm happy with all the legs. Um, this is a polyester sweater knit from, I think it came from um, Fab Fabworks Mills or something like that. I'll put the links to anything that's still available down below, but um, I've had this quite a while, so I imagine it will be sold out by now. And here's my second Blackwood cardigan, which is the shorter length, which is still um, pretty long on me, a nice length for a hip length cardigan. Um, yeah. Uh, Everything else is exactly the same, it's just the other view. The fabric is a cotton viscose in the sweater knit um, and it's bobbled really badly already. I mean I have, I have worn these cardigans a lot and it was cheap fabric but yeah it's really bobbly. There's some quite poly bobbly bits on the back so I don't think it's going to last me very long but I, I really like it. Now I do prefer my grey one just the recovery of the knit is slightly better. This is really, really stretchy. Um, yes, but this is my blue one. And my third and final so far Blackwood cardigan is my little pink cropped number, which I am um, made to go with dresses really, um, but it doesn't look too stupid with with jeans and a t-shirt, I don't think. Um, don't tell me if you do. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so it's just cropped um, where the length and shorten line is, um, but I kept the, uh, the, what's this called? Hem band, the same length as the uh, version, I forget which version is A and which is B, but the hip length one. So it comes a bit closer closed than the normal ones. Um, not deliberate, just didn't really want to faff 
with um, shortening the hemband but I quite like the way it sits. I did take some of the depth out of that as well so it's a much narrower hemband. Um, yeah so it sort of fits pretty much on my natural waist and is really good for doing another twirl um, wearing with dresses that have got a defined waist. Um, you might have seen it in my July makes video with my penny dress and I really like it with that dress because it goes with the, the pink that's in the print um, but I've worn it with a couple of other dresses too. Baby pink's not really something I normally wear um, so I don't really know how much wear it will get in the long run. I'm probably only going to wear it with a few dresses but yeah I'm really happy with it and definitely plan more of these. So I just, I love this pattern. I think it's, um, as far as my knowledge of drafting goes, I think it's well drafted. I certainly had no problems whatsoever with notches not lining up or anything like that. And I have seen other people that know more than me saying it's well drafted. I think the instructions are brilliant. Fabulous pattern. I would definitely recommend it for somebody new to cardigans, new to knits. I think it's brilliant. Would recommend. Double thumbs up from Lee. Next up is the Seamwork Oslo, which is a big, big floofy oversized cardigan um, and it's vital statistics. Uh, it is another PDF only because it's a Seamwork magazine pattern. Um, this one is quite a hefty 46 pages long, which is to be expected really as it's really long. Um, you do get copy shop versions with that as well. Um, they are just, um, the, they're not AO, they're that, um, the wide standard, I don't know what it's called, but you probably know what I mean, hopefully you know what I mean. Um, and if you are not a Seamwork member, that's going to cost you $12, but if you are, it's just one credit, um, and Seamwork subscriptions start from $7 size range it goes from a 33 to a 54 inch bust a 25 inch to 46 inch waist and a 35 inch to 56 inch hip um, and you you only get the one variation um, so I will insert my clip now and this is my Seamwork Oslo cardigan um, which I wore one hell of a lot last autumn winter just because it is so cozy I really love the feel of this fabric which is um, just a polyester sweat in it again um, and it has bubbled like crazy from all the the wearing and the washing um, but it's it's warm and it's snuggly and it's just really nice to just put on and cuddle up in because it's you know it's so big you can properly wrap it around you um, but I think I'm not I'm never really sure how much I like it and I think that largeness is a factor of that. Um, the cardigans that I typically wear are when I'm wearing short sleeves so I don't really wear cardigans over other sleeves so I prefer a much more fitted sleeve I think um, and I'm wondering if that and the dropped shoulder and just the general voluminousness, voluminosity, um, <laughs> bigness I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. The volume in the cardigan, um, I feel like is maybe a little bit too much for me. Um, I made another one of these for my mum for Christmas um, in exactly the same size that I've made for myself because she tried it on and it fit her nicely. And I'm hoping she will um, let me put a little video clip of her and hers in here as well. And I much prefer the fit on her because she's a, a little bit, um, a little bit bigger than me. Um, yeah, and it's, so I think if I make this again, I will size down one size. I was at the upper end of the medium, I think it was, when I sewed this. So I went from a, we're a medium generally, but I measured the shoulders, and because I'm very small, small in the shoulders, I cut a small there and in the arms, and I think I could easily go down to a small where I've cut a medium and an extra small and the other places and that would give me a, a better fit for what I prefer. If you like a big baggy cardigan then so so the right size for you but I think I prefer a, a tighter fitting cardigan. But yeah I still wear this and will still wear it because I, I love the colour, I love green, it's my favourite colour. Um, right. Okay so give me a twirl and stuff. <laughs> You're such an idiot. Okay, do you like your cardigan? Yes, I love it. 
Oslo is another um, nice easy style there is um, an error in the instructions where it comes to the cuffs it tells you to match the short edges and sew them where you have to be matching the long edges but the illustration is right um, yeah I don't love it as much as I love my blackwood it's just, it's just personal preference really if you want a big cosy cardigan then Oslo could be the um, the lady for you lady it's a place what am I on about? The cardi for you. Um, just so used to card patterns having ladies' names. Um, yes, so Oslo, big, oversized, fluffy and nice. But I'm sure if you sewed it up in a, a more lightweight jersey, you'll get a completely different look. Um, maybe I should give that a go when I do a sized down version and see if I prefer that. Um, okay, next is the Seamwork Wembley cardigan line out um, and again yet yeah, same same deal PDF only um, this one is a skimpy 25 pages long because it's a lot smaller cardigan um, yeah I think that's the one with the least pages so that's nice and easy to put together um, same price as the Oslo of $12 or one credit which is $7 um, and the size range is again the same 33 to 54 inch bust 25 to 46 inch waist 35 to 56 inch hip and again you only get the one variation um, and I shall insert my clip now and this is the Wembley that I mentioned in my last video that I wasn't sure if I liked um, Hopefully you can see it's like a sort of burnout kind of fabric, really light, um, and I just I just don't know if I like it that much. Um, I might have made the sleeves a tad too short, so I tend to wear them pulled up to three quarters. And as I wear this with dresses, I quite like um, tying it like that, so it tends up being more of a sort of shrug bolero kind of thing. Um, shorter at the back. And comes down into a point at the front so I don't know if it would be better in like a slightly heavier jersey oh, sorry my fringe is going wild um yes yeah, so not really sure should give it another go um but we'll see yeah so Wembley is a lovely quick sew because everything is finished um with bands or cuffs so you, if you have an overlocker you can just whiz it all through on your overlocker um without having to bust out your twin needle um I sewed the suggested size for me, which I think might have been a medium, I'm not sure. Um, but I did, I tapered the arm to the size down after the armpit, arm sigh. Um, and yeah, I quite, I think it fits quite well. I quite like that it's, um, I like the way it fits on my shoulders, but I do have quite narrow shoulders. So if you have wide shoulders, you might want to size up across the shoulders or just, just measure the pattern and see how you think it would feel on you. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, an, it's a nice enough pattern. I'm not really sure what it is that I don't like about it. Maybe if I um, did it in a different fabric, I think I've just said that in my clip, but we'll see. I think I need to experiment a little bit more with the two seam work patterns. And finally, we have the Muse Patterns Jenna Cardigan, which I've already seen a few versions of popping up on Instagram for the Cozy Cardi Challenge. Um, this one is a little bit more complicated because there are expansion packs available for it, but I'll, I'll see. So we'll start with the standard, so line up for the standard. Um, and it's uh, PDF only, again, the... Uh, Regular one comes with 37 pages um, and will set you back $12. The size range is from 30, ooh, 32 to 48 inch bust, 26 to 42 inch waist, 36 to 52 inch hip. Um, and in the standard version, you get three different sleeve lengths, two body lengths, cropped and hip, and you get two, I'm calling them shoulder styles on here, so there's the option of like a little yoke with some gathers, which you can see in the line art.
Then there's a neckline expansion pack available, which is 18 pages long, um, $3, same size range obviously, um, and you get two extra necklines of just a standard v-neck or the um, gathered shoulder yoke thing um, with a v-neck as well, or you get um, a collar, so a round neck still with like a Peter Pan collar. So that's four extra necklines really, isn't it? No, three, <laughs> can't count. Um, all with the same lengths again, so you, you're getting loads. Um, and then they also have a sleeve expansion pack. I haven't jotted down the pages for that because they are all different files, so it would have been a lot. Um, and again, three, three dollars for that expansion pack too. And you can use all of those sleeves with all of their patterns, all of their knit patterns. I think all of their patterns on it um, or there is a bundle of the lot of the standard cardigan and the two um, expansion packs for $16 which is what I bought um, so yeah as you can clearly see that is definitely the most versatile versatile pattern you are getting a lot for your money there. Um, sorry, I didn't say in the um, sleeve pack there are five sleeve types. I'll pop them in here I, from memory. There's um, a narrow sleeve, a petal sleeve, um, like a fluttery sleeve as well. Loads of sleeves. Um, yes, yeah, so I should um, insert my clip of my cardigans that's not actually finished, but I'm putting my clip in. This is my as yet unfinished uh, Muse Patterns Jenna cardigan, the cropped length with the um, v-neck from the expansion pack. Um, yeah, it's still got overlocker tails on it and it only has partial poppers. Um, I got into a bit of a battle with those um, and threw the cardigan in a heap in a tantrum. Um, if I can do a twirl. Uh, it's a little longer than, than waist length on me because I'm short um, and Muse patterns are drafted for somebody who's 5'11". I don't think I shortened the body, um, I shortened the sleeves and they're still quite long but the sort of length I prefer. They're, they're quite baggy down at the forearm, they're right at the, the bicep area um, so I don't know whether to just taper them for my next version or to use the um, narrow, now you think it's just called a narrow sleeve from the sleeve expansion pack because I have the the bundle with the Jenna which includes um, the sleeve expansion pack and the neckline expansion pack. Um, yeah so I'm not really sure how much I like this one on me. Um, it seems to be behaving itself at the moment but it tends to flap quite a bit um, and then yeah shows my overlocking and stuff. It's one that I think looks um the people that i've seen make really nice looking versions tend to oh, wear it done up trying to do my one functional popper um and i think that, that makes it sit quite nicely then whereas i tend to wear all of my cardigans open so i don't know if i would want to um reduce some of the shaping maybe or or what not sure um but anyway yes this is my final one so another great version, you're getting a lot for your money with this one, um, I could probably work out all the combinations that you could make with the different necklines and sleeves and lengths and things, but that would take a long time. Um, yeah, so even if you don't buy the expansion pack, you're getting a, a lot for your money really, um, but for only $4 more to get the bundle rather than the um, the standard, I think it's it's worth it. Because like I said, you can use the sleeves with the rest of their patterns as well. Um, yeah, so I really like this pattern. It's a, another quick sew. Everything went together fine. Um, good one if you are tall because it's drafted for somebody with 5 foot 11. So that's a little peek at my handmade cardigan collection. I hope this video has been in some way useful. Um, if there was anything you wish I'd included, had included in the sort of vital statistics charts, please just let me know in the comments and I can I can look things up and answer you there. Um, 
and it's good for me to know if I do anything like this in the future, if there is um, a particular pattern type or garment type that you would like to see this sort of video of again, um, just let me know. Um, yes, anyway, I hope you're having a lovely week and I will see you again next time. Take care, bye bye. The hip length length, hip length length? <sighs> that doesn't make any sense, does it? Let's stop.